legend has it, a little Dutch boy plugged a hole in a dike and kept the sea from pouring through. But no one can stop the sea from pouring over. It was very scary that you can see the water going onto the dike. So much water. It was like a sea. In 1995, violent storms swamped Central Europe. Anja van der Molen was one of a quarter of a million Dutch people evacuated from their homes. All the, the highways are filled with cars and, and packed cars with children, animals, cows, uh, horses, everything had to move out. Of all the countries hit, the Netherlands was hit hardest. When the water receded, Anya returned to clean up, dry out, and worry. Two-thirds of the Netherlands lies below sea level. No country is so imperiled by drowning. The possibility that Holland will be uh, flooded in a hundred years is, is red. It's a big fight. Who wins and who loses? Your, your life depends on it. In the wake of the flood, the Dutch government proposed a radical idea. Living with nature, not fighting it. They enlisted a construction specialist to develop houses that could truly go with the flow. Anya now lives in one. Her house is one of 48 built in the town of Mas Bommel along the Mas River. If danger returns, Anya will just rise above it. Her house is amphibious. But how do you float a 100-ton house? The same way you float a heavy ship. With a hollow hull. An entire foundation made from waterproof polystyrene surrounded in concrete. So we are here in the basement and this is a watertight concrete structure, about 90 tons. And this structure, in fact, provides the buoyancy and which result that the whole structure will start to float. Chris Zevenbergen is the project director. The foundation of the house he developed isn't anchored to bedrock. It just rests on the ground. And you see here the floating construction, the concrete pontoons. And as soon as the water the flood has come up to this level, it's about 10 feet, the whole structure started to float. If the river floods, the rising water will lift the entire house, just like a ship. This time, Anya will stay put and stay high and dry. It's very nice to be here. When the water comes up, I go up too, so I think it's safe, yeah. To keep it from floating away, the house is attached to two mooring poles at the front and back. When they rise, plumbing, electrical and gas lines remain securely connected. Amphibious houses are the latest weapon in a thousand year war to keep out the sea. A saying goes, God created the world, but the Dutch created the Netherlands. 
They began by building earthen mounds for their homes and earthen levees to protect them. Then, in the 1300s, the Dutch harnessed one force of nature to fight another. Wind versus water. The windmill drained water from marshes and pumped it into canals and dikes. It was a revolution in land reclamation and the groundwork of modern Holland. Now, a new problem faces the nation. The Dutch inhabit the most densely populated country in Europe, and they're running out of land. I'm convinced that this type of dwellings will, uh, in the longer term, provide uh, an important uh, solution for our next generations uh, to survive floods and to protect lives and uh, damage to their, their, their properties. In time, entire cities may be built on floodplains. Cities that float. I think uh, in the future it will be a relief for uh, people who are living on the other side of the dike. Uh, I can think for my kids, uh, my, 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 the kids of my kids, that there's a solution uh, for global warming. And that, they have, that uh, there's a way for living. <laughs>